I'm a little bit nervous. There's a blue cap involved. There's some Electra gel, which I've never seen in the grocery store. You can apply electricity to someone's scalp, but you can't apply that much or it hurts a lot. <laughs> Hey, this is Jason from Motherboard. We are here at Brooklyn College where we are going to learn about TDCS, that's transcranial direct current stimulation. It's a field of study where electricity is sent into your brain to see how it responds. And by the way, I bought a device on Reddit for 12 bucks. We're gonna meet with an expert to see what she thinks about it. My name is Elizabeth Chua. I'm an assistant professor here at Brooklyn College. In our research lab, we run experiments. One of the things we do is examine what areas of the brain are involved in memory. And one of the tools that we use to do that is transcranial direct current stimulation. TDCS uses electricity to either stimulate or slow down the firing of neurons in your brain. Proponents say that if you shock the right parts of the brain, you can improve learning and memory, and maybe even decrease anxiety or depression, at least for short periods of time. You can apply current for maybe 10 minutes, for maybe 20 minutes, and the effects are thought to last for about an hour. Some people report it feeling warm, some people report tickling. One of my students, it itches a lot. People are investigating its effectiveness in stroke rehabilitation, pain management. Really, a lot of different clinical disorders are thought to maybe be able to benefit. Clinically, it's all done experimentally. This is not a technique that's been approved by the FDA. The reason that it's most exciting is that it's cheap and easy to use. You can apply electricity to someone's scalp, but you can't apply that much or it hurts a lot. There are many knobs and levers on this thing. Mm -hmm. What do they do? We have information about what the true current is. Um, we can set the current at different intensities. We have a pre-stim tickle button, and we can ramp the current up and down as needed. Do you have any idea how much it costs? A lot more than the things from Radio Shack. I'm a little bit nervous. There's a blue cap involved. There's some Electra gel, which I've never seen in the grocery store. Do you ever find like lice in people's heads? No, thank God I haven't. I keep feeling like totally fine, but now I'm worried. Am I gonna taste any sort of like metal in my mouth? Oh, it's already on, okay. I don't feel too much. How much am I getting? Point one. Oh, point one. The highest milliamp that we can give is two. Yeah, it definitely like burns a little bit. It kind of hurts, a l like a tiny bit. It tingles, it, it prickles. Are there any side effects that people report? Tingling. Burning. Yes. Is there a concern that there are there could be long-term effects? I think there's always a concern when we don't have the data. I wouldn't say like it feels good. Here is the thing that I bought on Reddit for twelve dollars. I mean, I can't tell a lot from from this. I don't know how much current this is going to give. I would feel pretty skeptical of of doing this. Um, um, all right, I'm going to turn it on. I felt a little. Jolt. Jolt, yeah. Yeah. Do you feel stronger since it's on your arm? Definitely not. Okay. <sighs> yeah, this one like just it just there's jolts. Jolt, yeah, right? just, there's yeah. a jolt when it turns on. Yeah. It's it's real. It's definitely <laughs> real. I don't really like it very much. Yeah, this one needs more knobs. You know, one of the benefits is that it's cheap and easy to do, and so it doesn't surprise me that this DIY movement has come. We don't know a lot about it, so it's a great mystery to try and uncover.